Hey! <laughs> Welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 4 Love Island. I am super excited to be back today because we only have Love Island once a week and today's the day, which is so, ugh, I love it. So what happened last week on Love Island? Let's talk about it. Let's just, let's just do a little refresher before we get too deep into things today. So last week, the boys went to, oh my god, I just realized I never texted Tasha the options. I'm so sorry, Tasha. I'm so sorry. I just realized I forgot again. Now she's got to write it down again during the thing. Um, so last week, Farquette got to Love Island. Um, here is Farquette, right? Dang, girl! There's Farquette right there. Last week, Farquette got here on Love Island. She really shook things up a bit. Her and Sirius kind of look like they might be a match. He seems really into her. She seems really into everybody. That's the best way that I can um, describe that. And then uh, what else happened? Oh, so the boys last week, they went to like, oh, here, let me make my face bigger for while I'm talking to you about this so we can, we can talk face to face for a minute. So last week, what had happened was so the boys, they went to the girls, like it was like a next up household, but with all girls, right? And it was kind of like a, a test to see which ones would talk to new girls. And then, thank you Jess, thank you Jordan, thank you Sheridan. But also just like, so we could see the options for which girls to vote on. Lou woohooed with uh, Tafiti on the beach. And now Tafiti got voted on to Love Island. So now Merida's probably gonna find out that Lou and Tafiti like uh woohooed, you know? <laughs> and then um did anything else happen that's like really you're so adorable. Oh, thank you. Did anything yeah, it was a long woohoo on the beach. I forgot about Tafiti. Yeah, that's why we're doing a refresher today. Um the tea's gonna be hot tonight. I mean you're so pretty. Oh, thank you. So I'm trying to think if there's anything else like monumental that happened last live, but I or last Monday, but I think that's like the main tea. Uh Farquette woohooed with just about everybody, so that happened, but um I'm surprised Lady Whistledown didn't chime in. Lady Whistledown's been real quiet lately, I will say that. Um so Mar oh yeah marjorie got voted off last week so now red is single again because remember red was kind of red's girl was marjorie and now she's gone so the plan for today is the first little bit we're gonna let the islanders be at love island um you know experiencing love island and whatnot and then here in a little bit we are going to take the girls to an all boys household so we can see the boys that can get voted on today um so we will be voting off a girl today and we'll be voting on a guy to even out the guys and girls so thank you Justin. you pissed with gee um lady whistledown has to be the ladybug that was chilling on the computer last week i would date red red am i tripping or do i look a lot like red because i feel like I think that might be my twin, bro. I think I think we look alike, but maybe I'm tripping, but I also have freckles. This camera's ass, so you probably can't see it. Um, you do. That's why we like her. <laughs> I was gonna say, every single time I see her, I'm like, why does this kind of look like if you mixed her and Vidya, that would be like my face. She's gotta be in a hoodie though. <laughs> <laughs> you're so gorgeous yes ah y'all are so nice the sweatshirt love you yes thank you amanda for the sweatshirt i don't take this sweatshirt off now i'm like in love with the fourth wing sweatshirt um oh my god there's a bunch of drinks around who made these who it doesn't even say who made them they're just hanging out um i really want lou okay so they still hate each other um, but I'm just hoping that Lou and Red end up being an enemy. So he's staring at her ass. You can't tell me if he's not. Oh my god, I went through the thing. He's just sitting here. And then he's watching her walk away. I just feel like Lou and... Oh, there goes Tafiti. But they just walked past each other. Lou, we are not... We are not gonna wolf out today. I'm gonna lower his little wolf thing. Um, thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Selena. Thank you, British Snitter. 
Everybody's just kind of hanging out in the pool right now. Attractiveness alert. Oh my god, Farquet. I can't with you, Farquet. Wow, what a sim. Farquet Swamp just stopped what they were thinking about for a moment, found themselves staring at Shigo. And then the girls are going to an all boys household today. Farquet's gonna lose her mind. Farquet can't go nowhere without being attracted to somebody. Uh, Farquet, what are you working out in, bestie? Girl, I feel like Shigo might be into it too. Everybody wants a piece of Farquet. But the thing is, is like, Farquet, are you here on Love Island for the right reasons? Are you here for the right reasons? Because it seems like you're just here to woohoo with everybody. She done woohooed with half the cast already. Lou is hanging out in the pool, and he's hanging out around Merida. It says, Merida actually enjoyed hearing Sirius vent. So, wait, wait a minute. So, Sirius is venting to Merida? That seems like a friendship. So, that kind of, like... That makes it seem like Sirius and Merida aren't going to have any flirting going on because he's venting to Merida like a friend. But she likes it. She likes him uh, complaining to him. All right. Which I wonder if he's complaining about the fact that he's into Farquette and she's for everybody. But he's... See, I see him looking from over there. Yeah, acting all cordial, sitting on the side of the pool like you're not watching Farquette over here working out. The Tafiti thing, she has not, she's sobering up. Okay, she's coming over to the pool now. I am a little concerned for if she tries flirting with Lou in front of Merida, because I'm going to be real with you right now. Who's calling Tafiti? She is working out. No, 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 no. Take PTO. You don't have work now. Um, Farquaad is E for everybody. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Um... But yeah, I'm gonna be real when it comes to uh, Merida. She's been working out. She looks ready to whoop some ass, if you know what I mean. Like, I would be scared to be the girl that Merida doesn't like because look at, look at her. Look at the bitch. Like, okay. Is Extreme Violence on? Um, yeah, but... I turn the autonomy down, so it doesn't happen often. Thank you, Little Cinnamon. Thank you, Jenny, for the paper crane. Thank you, Dang Ibuprofen. Every time I see your name, Dang Ibuprofen, is so funny to me. Um, oh, Merida wants to talk to Tafiti. She, Tafiti's coming up to us to talk. She's smiling now. She's smiling out. She works out literally all the time. Yeah. Um, hey, Tafiti! What you want to talk about? It seems good right now. It seems good right now. Are you tell me she's shredded. Oh my god. Right? Right? That's what I'm saying. How do you adjust the autonomy? You have to go in and mess with like literally every Not him taking a shit in front of them. Lou, I know you're lying. That's one way to separate them. Come into the bathroom and just start taking a shit. And he's thinking about trees, looking at Tafiti. Oh! And broke the fucking toilet. Your shit just broke the toilet. I don't think he gives a fuck. I'm gonna be so real. I don't think he cares. Thank you, Jenny. Um, I sent you some stuff, but I don't know if it'll get there before Valentine's. Oh, thank you, Michelle. I'm still excited. I'm still shocked that people send things to my P.O. box. Over the past two years, people told me to open up a P.O. box, and I was like, well, this is about to be really embarrassing whenever I go get one, and then nobody sends anything. And then I finally got one, like, two months ago, and I was wrong. I was insecure for no reason. So, anyways. Um, not Luby, a player. Now, Nay. Now, Nay, let's, girl, let's be so real with ourselves. Are we surprised? Like, are we really, like, shocked that Lou is a player? Like, he was working at the script club before this, and he was having one-night stands with people like Reba. Like, are we shocked that he's a hoe? Are we surprised? Nay said we aren't. See, that's what I'm saying. I knew. Sorry, I had to talk to Nay for just a second. But, like, girl, we knew. We knew that he was going to be a hoe. But he has been, like, pretty loyal. Well, I wouldn't say loyal to Merida, but he's been, like, pretty serious about her. Like, he hasn't been serious about anybody else. Um, He's in here. Uh, He's feeling active. 
And he got a baby mama. And he, oh my God, I forgot. He's got a whole baby mama. He's got a whole baby mama. Who is his baby mama? I forget. Oh, no, he doesn't have a baby mama. She's dead. She's diddly darn dead. He did have a baby mama. Glad he's not rude, though. True. He did bang a squid. He's done banged all sorts of things. He banged Tafiti. She's a fucking island. Like, a squid, an island. Uh, rest in peace, Squidwina. <laughs> Is this baby mama technically Farquette's sister? Half. Half. <laughs> Technically, he did have a baby with Farquette's half-sister, her half-squid half-sister, but, first of all, you gotta think about Farquette's family in general. Farquette had a baby with her step-grandpa, so let's be real, she don't give a fuck that Lou had a baby with her half-sister on the squid side of the family. If we're being honest. If we're just, if we're just being honest with ourselves right now. Um, your butt is looking real good today, Red. Real good. Is his daughter Clarinet? Yes. Clarinet, that's why she's so pretty, because Lou is her dad. But yeah. Oh my god, could you imagine if Reepa would have had a baby with Lou? Lou is not for her. I love Lou for who he is, and I think he's great in his own bracket. I think he's at the top of his bracket. Reepa's in another bracket. He would have been at the bottom of that bracket. She's out of his league. I'm gonna just say it how it is. I'm gonna just say it how it is. Um, she still can. <laughs> That's where her pole skills come from. Yes. Do we know what happened to Squidwina? It says fire, but who the heck even knows? Um, Lou, why don't you come and cook some dinner? You serve oh, breakfast. Come serve some fruit salad. Why don't you? Um, Lou isn't Reapus type. I don't think so either. I don't know what Reapa's type exactly is. She's kind of like Farquette in that way, but it's not Lou. Even though she found him extremely attractive, and he is, he is extremely attractive. I will give her that, but I want, look at Sirius over here acting so sad. Sirius, you need to try to talk to Farquette before she goes to the boys' house today. I'm going to fix his needs. Storm chaser, Sim. Oh, he loves storms. Interesting. Lou ran on all fours after Woohoo. That ick is still stuck on me. Yeah, he was feral after he fucked Reepa. Like, absolutely feral. She's over here talking to Jeannie. Serious, you gotta get in here. You need to come compliment her outfit. And then you need to, um, show off hand calluses. Okay. Okay. And then you need to, uh, he needs to actually, like, flirt with her. Like, they woohoo, but he never flirts. Maybe? Okay, new plan. So, in about three minutes, we're gonna go to the all-boys house, take the girls. Then after, like, 20 minutes, we're gonna vote a couple to go on a date. Now, it has to be one of the couples that are already here. So, it might be far quite and serious. Tasha, if you're, if you're here, write this down. It'll, the options will be Farquette and Sirius or Shigo and Jeannie. She looks good. She looks good. Thank you, Michelle. Um, and then Merida and Lou or, or Lou and, um, Tafiti or... Red and who would we match Red up with? I don't know. Who is she the most? The only one in the household she's ever had anything romantic with was Lou. Lou, Lou, Lou. Red and Farquette. Lou and Tafiti for the drama. Red and Lou, Farquette, Farquette. So later on in the live, we'll vote for who's going to go on the date. Like towards the end of them being at the boys' house, we'll vote for who's going on the date. I can see who, which one she's the most attracted to. So let's see. Serious. She finds him very unattractive. Noted. Shigo. She finds Shigo attractive. Okay. Genie. Basic looking. So, so far it would be Shigo. Let's see. Lou. She's a basic looking. Um, Tafiti. Attractive. But they have awful compatibility. Good to know. 
Farquette, attractive, and then Merida, unattractive. So I would say probably Red and Shigo would be the option there. Um, I missed everything after the Shrek saga. You're good. Just jump right back in. You're perfectly fine. This is Love Island. It don't even have nothing to do with that. Well, there are some like ties here and there if you know all the lore, but it don't matter. We're on Love Island. We're voting people on and off. So different characters coming in and out all the time. Um, so I'm not gonna lie, Red, I'm a little worried about you today because today we're voting off a girl. And right now, Red, it really isn't in a couple. So hopefully when they go to the boys' house right now, we find her a couple. Thank you, little cinnamon for all the gamer cats. Thank you, Brenda, for the lover's glasses. Thank you, British Air, for the heart me. Um, yeah, I'm a little worried about Red. I'm also a little worried about, um, a couple of them, actually. I'm worried about freaking, oh wait, no, the boys can't go. I'm worried about Shigo, and I'm worried about Merida. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. I will never vote Red off after the grilled cheese excitement. I like Red. I hate to say it. She's crazy as hell. But I like her in the way that I like Granny. Um, she's there for the right reasons. Exactly. She was so serious about Marjorie too. But then it's not her fault that Marjorie got voted off. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, British. Thank you, Michelle. Um, Merida needs to get with someone to get back at Lou. Right? So here we are at the boys' house. So these are, okay, listen to me. These are going to be your options for voting people on today. I'm about to fix all of our girly pops needs. Um, these dudes are going to be our options for voting on today. So we'll see if any of the girly twirly whirlies um, are into them. Okay, okay, okay. So here are the dudes. Oh my god, Farquet is immediately talking about attractiveness alert. Please, Farquet, give it five seconds. We have got the Prince of Persia. Then we have got Jon Snow. Now, I am a big Jon Snow girly. However, something tells me he's not good in bed. I can't explain why, but I am very attracted to him. Anyways, um, then we've got Duncan. Now, Duncan's been trying to get on Love Island for a while now, and he still has not gotten on to um, Love Island. So he's still an option. Um, then we've got Puss in Boots. I think Puss in Boots is so fine. I'm trying not to cuss as much as I usually do, but... Um, yeah, Puss in Boots. Uh, and then we have Thor as an option still. And then, okay, she goes going through his body right now because they loaded in on top of each other. She go, I need you to get out of his body right now. Anyways, and then we've got Earwax. And I don't know if Lottie's in here right now, but we're going to see if Earwax is loyal to Lottie or not. Because, um... You know, he was woohooing with Lottie. Now, I don't know if that was serious or not, because Lottie's going on, got a lot going on herself in the city with her nephew, but they didn't make it official, and now Earwax is here as a potential person on Love Island. Um, is he related to Farquette? Uh, no, because he's Shrek's son. Farquette woohooed with Shrek. So, she's woohooed with his dad. His dad is her baby daddy. So in the shrek verse that basically means nothing. There's like no significance at all to that, to them. Which in real life, that would be scandalous. But in the shrek verse it's kind of like, whatever. Up here, we have Robin Hood in his athletic attire. So that's Robin Hood right there. And then Donkey is also here somewhere. So, a normal day for Farquet. Now she's gonna do the side. <laughs> Um, let's go ahead and- where's the door so we can knock on it? Which one is marked as the front door? Of course the mailbox is on the back porch. These guys were made for Red. Oh my god. Literally, Red could have- okay, Red, we need you to scope the area because I'm worried about you, girly. I'm real worried about you today. Now, some of them are walking away, so she's not gonna get to scope all of them. But go- she's gonna find them attractive because she finds Farquette and she go attractive. Any of the boys? that are in right here she doesn't find puss in boots attractive 
And she didn't mark Shigo as attractive either now. But she does find Duncan and the Prince of Persia attractive. Where is Merida? Merida's right here. Merida is right here. Um, Merida is one of those girls that ain't got no... You know, I'm not even going to say that on the stream. Um, <laughs> Thor has been waiting at his shop forever. That's true. Duncan for Red. Duncan, Duncan. Ah! Okay. Red, why don't you come do a... Friendly, can we do a flirty introduction? No, because she's not flirty. Let's go do a friendly introduction with um Duncan, shall we? Oh, she's trying to walk in the house. She said, I'm walking the house. She's got her itty bitty bikini on today, period. There goes Thor. He's just smiling. He's like, I've got another chance. I've got another chance. Thor has been waiting five ever to get onto Love Island. Who's in the lime bikini? That's Farquette. That's Farquaad. She is um, Lord Farquaad's granddaughter. If you've never watched Shrek Verse, she's in the Lord Farquaad line. She, is, I know Lord Farquaad is a little shit, but just know that she is a bad bitch. Okay. Um, no, how late am I? About twenty five minutes. We're at the boys' household scoping out who we want to vote on. Um, does Red like men? Yeah, she just said that she's attracted to Duncan when we scope the area. He had a heart above his head. She, she's bisexual. Um, so hopefully her and Duncan can, well, we'll see how compatible they are. Um, not Farquette trying to come out here. Farquette's all flirty looking at these options. She, see this little like attraction thing? That means she's attracted to him. Um, uh, Farquette is Farkley's granddaughter, actually. Okay, well, she's Laura Farquette's great granddaughter. Let me correct myself. She's in that line um is she in a group already because i want to make them two just like a group it looks like she's not in a group great let's add him to a group with us actions um add to group and i'm gonna get the two of them to come outside over here to talk together and hopefully nobody interrupts them um can you not say bisexual i can i think hopefully um, I try to not say where, oh my god, they're all, I knew that they were all gonna be in a group together, now everybody's coming outside, shit, okay, everybody go back inside, everybody go back inside, now everybody's coming outside, everybody in, everybody in the house, now we're gonna disband the whole group, what is Thor, um, up to, it looks like he's just talking to dudes right now, I think he's shy, I think he might be a little shy, what is going on? You know, whatever. Just try flirting with Duncan in here and see if see if it works out. I don't know. Just flirt with him. Thank you, LG. Thank you, Sa Sarah. I was about to say Sater. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, for the tater and love. Thank you, Gracie. Um, Thank you, Jai, for the game controllers. Um, It looks like Thor is being a little shy. There goes Donkey right there. Donkey Donk ass, if I've ever seen him. Um, I forgot I can't play as Thor right now. Let's see. I don't know who he'd be attracted to. Apparently her flirting, though, with Duncan is going good. Barquette is so attracted to everybody right now. Hold on. I'm going to get her to scope the area so we can see. I just know. I just know she's about to have hearts above everybody's head. Okay, don't sit down. Let's see who she's attracted to. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Conduct Wifey. Do I keep missing it? Maybe it's because she's about to sit. Yeah, stand back up so we can scope the area. I don't know if I want... So, part of me wants Earwax or one of them on Love Island, but part of me doesn't because I kind of just want them to have a bachelor's house. Parquet is just, yes. Real question is, who is she not attracted to, right? Thank you, Rupa Toot, for the heart pop. <laughs> okay. Everyone with a heart above their head she's attracted to. Is there a single person that doesn't have... Okay. I don't think she's attracted to... Robin Hood. I think every single other person in the room she's attracted to. My god. Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the love tag. Uh... <laughs> Robin Hood ain't even got his hood on. Thank you, Unicorn Farts, for the hand heart. Um, oof, that would sting. <laughs> Damn, what's up with Robin, right? 
right? Um, so we know that Red is interested in Duncan. She's still over here talking to him. They don't have, like, that long to talk to each other, but he's sitting down next to her. Okay. Um, Donkey's in his beach attire. I love that. It looks like the guys are kind of just, like, sitting. The Prince of Persia is talking to, uh, Shigo. So, I can kind of see that, though. But I do like how she is talking to the genie, so I don't know. Um, or am I reading it wrong? Wait, reading what wrong? It says he's a teen. Does it say he's a teen? Oh, that's why. Why the hell did he age down? Well, maybe I never aged him all the way up. Hold on. Set age, young adult. Sorry, sir. You gotta be a young adult to be at this party. I bet now she'd be attracted to him. I bet now she'll be fucking attracted to him. Hold on. Scope the area again. Scope the area again. I guarantee now there's gonna be a heart above every single person's head in the room. Yep. Yep. There's not a single fucking person in here that she's not attracted to. Not a single one. She passed the test. <laughs> Called it. <laughs> Happy 20th birthday, Robin. <laughs> she simply don't care. Um, throughout the conversation, Red got the impression that Duncan finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she is the right idea. So, Duncan is literally thinking about how attractive Red is. Why can I see that, though? I mean, she's not wrong. That is true. Everyone in the room kind of is attractive. So... Could you imagine if Farquette... You know that Earwax probably wouldn't go for Farquette, but Farquette would definitely go for Earwax, is what's funny. Um, to Feedy Girl, I'm gonna be honest, you might want to try talking to some other people. Let's scope the room for... To Feedy because I don't know that her and Lou are gonna work out, to be honest. At all. He couldn't handle her. No, he could not. No, he, you see that face? Well, I don't know. He's been woohooing with Lottie, so Lottie might be into some shit that has gotten him into some shit, but um to Feedy is attracted to Puss in Boots and Duncan and the Prince of Persia. Okay, I could see that. She likes a little edge to her man. She don't want the the ones that look a little vanilla. Because honestly, Earwax, Jon Snow, and Thor all look a little a little vanilla. Um, Tafiti with Persia. Tafiti, why don't you come um ask him to be pushed on the swing? Fuck it. Go for it, girl. You're cute. Um, and that nobody is feeling Robin Hood. Robin Hood, I don't know if you're getting voted on today, babes. Where's Merida? Merida's up here talking to Donkey. She's talking about llamas. She's like, so are you a llama? No, he's a donkey, bro. He's a donkey. Interesting. Is she attracted to him? And she perceives him as attractive interesting let's go ahead well you might as well flirt with him you might as well just put a little flirty flirtiness out there found her rebound oh he rejected her damn not her being awkward encounter of where can I hide? That was an awkward conversation. Um, not Merida getting rejected. Merida, I'm worried about you, girl. I am worried about you. I almost wonder if her and Lou need the date today. Um, speaking of, she is not clarinet. And that's true. We gotta remember, Donkey has a thing for clarinet, who's a scripper at the club. So, <gasps> oh! This is actually so cute! The Prince of Persia out here pushing to Feedy! That is cute. Girl, get your green toes out of my face, though. I'm not trying to look at them talons. Um, That is so cute. Scope for Merida. Okay, Merida, I need you to come stand down here, girly, so I can see who you might be interested in. Um, You love a green, green sim girlfriend? I do. 
I do. Uh, thank you, Casey. I'm so proud. Um, we all know Persia can climb those rocks, too. And we do. And we do. Let's get married to the scope, the area. Um, Tasha, if you're in here, can you start the poll for who's going on a date for the last part of this live? Like, from the couples that we already have at the house. So, it'll either be... Okay, who is she? Let me pause this for a second. Thank you, Jive. So, it'll either be Merida and Lou, or it will be Tafiti and Lou, or it'll be Farquet and Sirius, or it will be the Genie and Shigo, or it will be Red and pretty much anybody. Because <laughs> she's not, she's not in a thing. Um, thank you, Jenny. The poll is up. Tasha, you're the best. He does love gingers. And he does. Okay, so Far or not Farquette. Merida scanned the room. Um, Jon Snow. She's attracted to all of them. Except for Thor. She's not attracted to Thor, but she's attracted to the rest of them in here. I could see. I could kind of see um Earwax and Merida. But I could also see Jon Snow in Merida because she kind of um, resembles somebody he's been with, honestly. I'm still rooting for Merida and Lou. I kind of am too. I think Merida and Lou are really cute. But at the same time, like, I I don't know how seriously Lou is taking her. Um, thinking Lou and Tafiti for the drama. Jon and Merida are both warriors. That's true. And you said the poll is up. I want to put my vote in for the poll. I'm going to let this play so we can see what all everybody does. Farquette's over here talking to Robin Hood. She's like, I know the rest of the girls don't want you, but I do. Because you know she does. Farquette does not discriminate at all. Um, I got to sign into my other TikTok account to be able to see the poll. John loves a feral redhead. The poll is close to, oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I gotta see. I don't even know who I'm voting for, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, it's so scandalous what it might end up being. Following. Pixarella is live. Is she? Let's see. Farquette doesn't need a date. She'll do whoever, whenever. <laughs> Let me see the poll. Uh, I think I want to vote for... Do I want Farquette and Sirius, or do I want Merida and Lou? Okay, I voted Merida and Lou, actually, because I want to see... But Lou and Tafiti's at 30, and then Farquette and Sirius are at 33. That is close. We still have two and a half minutes. If you haven't voted yet, the poll is in the top left corner of the screen, the little blue and white box. Um, Have I missed a lot? I hate missing a live. Um, I mean, nothing too crazy has happened. We're at the boys' house letting the girls kind of, like... Talk to everybody. Red is feeling real flirty after her banter downstairs with um, uh, Duncan. Thank you, Amanda. Thank you, Brain Dead. I would have voted for Red and Duncan. Um, Merida likes Robin Hood. Does she? Look at the girls upstairs um, talking to each other right now. I think Shigo is sick. I love Merida and Lou, but I bet she'd like Robin Hood. Okay, well, let's find out, shall we? Get down here and come introduce yourself to Robin Hood. Shigo dying. Shigo, are you good, girl? Oh, she's super... She feels, like, overheated. Girl, go swim in the ocean. Don't fucking... Here, go swim around. Oh, wait, backflip. Do something. I don't know. Cause I don't want you, I don't want you sweating to death, girl. Shigo looks good. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she does. They're both into bows and arrows. There is that. So she's talking to him. She is looking at him like she's interested. I could see Merida and um, Robin Hood, but I could also see Merida and Jon Snow. I could actually really, she perceives him as attractive. Okay, y'all right, y'all right. She's loyal to Jeannie, too. Yeah, Shigo has been loyal to Jeannie this whole time. And whenever Jeannie came to the, like, all-girls house, he was super loyal to her. So, Farquette and Sirius won. Did they? There's still 30 seconds. But I think they did win. 
to be honest. But the Lou and Tafiti is like right behind them. So technically in the last 30 seconds, that could win. But it looks like Farquette and Sirius are going to be going on a date. Hopefully they can actually build up some romance and not just... They have lust for each other and friendship, but her chest bubbles are there. There. Shigo and Jeannie are in love. I voted to Feedy and Lou. To me, Merida is boring now. Um, The poll. Okay, yeah. Farquette in Sirius by 2%. Um, Literally just by 2%. So, let's go ahead and get all of these girlies to go home first so we can pick up Sirius for our Sirius date. Ha 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 ha. And I don't know where we're going to take them, but flotation devices, right? She ain't drowning. Ain't no way she's drowning. I am um, very interested to see who's getting voted off today and who's getting voted on. The girls had their chance to, um, you know, show off what they've got. Red did talk to people. Farquette was in there talking to people. Tafiti was talking to people. They were all talking to people. Merida was kind of scoping out Jon Snow and definitely was scoping out Robin Hood. Um, girl, get out the water now. She is chilling. Um, can they go to the spa together? They could, but I don't know if that'd be like a romantic thing for them. I want them to talk. I want them to really like sit down and talk. So maybe we'll just send them to the beach together like we have with some of the other ones. Um, thank you, Sheridan. Thank you, Jenny. I joined late, so I have no idea what I voted for. But you voted for who's going on a date here in a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm nervous to see which girl is getting voted off today. I like a lot of these girls. And I think we're, I'll have to count and see which episode we're on because the first season of this is going to be 20 episodes. So I have to see how close we are to the season finale because once we get a couple episodes away from the finale, we'll have to start voting off entire couples until we get down to the final couple who wins Love Island. Um, and then we'll have a season two of Love Island probably, which is going to be exciting. I don't know who's going to win season one of Love Island right now. I got to see how close we are to the end. I'm probably voting for Merida. I think I'm probably voting for Tafiti, to be honest. I don't know, though. I don't know. I don't want to vote off Red. Red is the last girl that's been here since the first episode, I think. Um, What I'm hearing is in the later episodes, we can maybe have a Love Island baby. Oh my god, I hope not. I think we're about episode 10 or so. Yeah, we're about at the halfway point, I believe. <laughs> Um, Tafiti just isn't doing it. I'm probably, I was gonna say Tafiti too. Yeah, I don't want to, me personally, I think, if I had to guess, now y'all vote the way you want to vote, obviously. If I had to guess, I think Farquette is safe, and I think Shigo is safe. These three right here, Red, Tafiti, and Merida is who I'm worried about. Um, so we are back at the house. Farquette, come get your man, please. Where is he at? He's hanging out in the pool. Okay, we are going to... Um, we are going to take them on a little date. Thank you, Stephanie, for the gamer cat. I love the gamer cats. They are so darn cute. But da -da -da -da. Also, let me check really quick what place I'm in in this, you know, this ongoing competition that I'm in for a million days. Sweet. I was in sixth at the beginning of this live, and now I have passed them, and I'm back in fifth. So, slay. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Unicorn Forest. Thank you, Destiny. Thank you, Stephanie. Um, doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's take Farquette and serious on a little date, shall we? I like Tafiti too much for her to be with Lou. He's kind of player. He's like, he's definitely a himbo, for sure. Thank you, Victoria, for subscribing. Um, Let's do, we could just take him to the beach. Let's go to the sandbar. So it is like the beach right there, but they can also order drinks if they want. I think that'll be good. Um. Merida just works out. 
Oh, I forgot that, uh... Okay, so as you can see, um, Farquette has romantic stuff with a lot of people. But hopefully, what is a himbo? It's the man version of, like, a bimbo. A himbo is, like, like an attractive guy that's a little... Mm, like oblivious like i don't know how to explain it exactly um so let's see i'm gonna give y'all a few minutes to have this date then we gotta get back to the house to see if any other drama is gonna happen before the end of the episode oh my gosh she changed her bathing suit okay um let's get him to go of course there's not a freaking bartender of course this let's um make a drink let's make oh he can make her the drink let's make a drink for farquette because i think that'll be so um cute uh, uh, uh himbo is an attractive guy that's just a little quirky yeah yeah let's see he's gonna make her a drink i love a man who knows how to make a mixed drink um, his finest vest in her gold bikini. <laughs> no, literally, he's in his finest attire. And she's over here just dancing in her orange bikini and green red bottoms. I love that. I love that. She has such a big personality. I love it. Right? She doesn't care. No, she doesn't. She really doesn't. <laughs> she's swamp bred, so... Um, oh, he made her a flaming B-52? Now, serious. Oh, my God. I love him for her. And she's just, like, so nonchalant about the whole thing. You got to get in here. You got to flirt with her. You got to, like, legitimately come and flirt with her. He did that, right? Right? Like, he's making me, like, blush right now for her. I, like, really like them. I just want her to, like, I don't know. I think because she grew up on the swamp, she didn't have very, like, good, um, she didn't have good, like, role models as far as love goes. I'm gonna take a picture. Thank you, Pisswiggy, for the gifts. Thank you, Sarah. Um, but yeah, she didn't have, like, very good role models for how, you know, love is supposed to go, and she was around a lot of people who, you know, were cheaters, and um, habitual just sleep arounders and whatever, and I think that's kind of impacted her a lot. Um, so... I don't know. I think it's hard for her to take a, take a relationship seriously. And especially, also, Shrek never took her seriously, and that she lost her woohinity to a man a lot older than her that didn't take her seriously and didn't really care about her being pregnant or anything. So I think that also kind of like scorned her a little bit. Does she have any real clothes? I don't think she packed any real clothes for Love Island. I think she literally just brought her bikinis. <laughs> um, she tried with Shrek too. Yeah, she did. And like, while wow, that was a long time ago, that was like her introduction to the dating world was with Shrek who did not come through for her the way he probably should have um and but to be fair on shrek when she pursued him was not a great time for her to pursue him you know they got drunk at the bar and then he was grieving his dead wife whenever she got pregnant should he have woohooed her probably not but anyways she needs to be taken seriously. <laughs> Can Sirius heal her? I kind of, I hope so. Look, their romance is going up really fast, too. Go ahead and do a first, like, real kiss. Actually, don't do it like that. I hate when they do the real kiss, the first kiss like that. Um. Oh, they're gonna do it anyways. They're gonna do it. They're gonna do it anyways. Um. Yeah, he's gonna, oh wait, no, he isn't. He's gonna do it like this. He's so serious. Her, she's so thick. His hand is going through her ass right now. Look at him smiling. He's giggling and smiling after the kiss. She knows she's fine. Like, she knows she's fine. Um, Let's go ahead and give her an actual kiss. I think they're definitely into each other. Oh, she has to pee. Okay, let the girl pee. 
She's going to go tinkle. Look at her feet curving in. Um, the person in the back scared me. They got the bar all to themselves, which I think is really rare and really nice. Um, I think this date has gone well. Their romance is up. He made her a little drink. They had a nice evening out. Don't walk in on her. Do not walk in on her. She's trying to t thank you. Oh my God, don't do it. Great. But he's just laughing about it. He walked in on her. He literally just laughed. He's like, oops, I'm gonna wash these dishes though. That is husband material. Thank you, little cinnamon thingy, Chrissy. Um, that is husband material. He walked in, had a little giggle, washed the dishes. I can't complain about that. Um, so let's go ahead and take them back to the house and see what's going on with this Lou Merida to Feedy stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them all in the boom boom room and let them work out their differences and see what's going on before we do any type of voting. Thank you, little cinnamon, for all the gamer cats. And thank you guys for achieving the goal for the live. Um... They act uh, like such a couple, right? Can Lou confess? No, I don't know why I lost the ability for them to... Uh, to PD, go home. Nobody invited you. I haven't been able... It's only like the loyal Sims that can confess to doing that for whatever reason. I don't know why. Um, Farquette's going home. Pixie our chaotic Sim God. I was all for Lou and Merida, but clearly he's not as deep as I thought. Is it because he and Merida were not officially together? That's probably why, too. Him and Merida aren't technically in a relationship. Um, which he is on. And I will stand up for Lou for a minute. He's on Love Island. Thank you, Uniform Friends with Flower Bouquet. He's on Love Island. He's supposed to be experimenting and whatnot. Girl, what in the hell are you wearing now? What is he wearing? I don't know who gave them those clothes, but it wasn't me. Um, so he is kind of playing the game the way you're supposed to, but I don't know. I think he is acting like he's been telling her things like, I love you. And um, why are they all wearing random ass clothes right now? Weird. But yeah, I'm going to get him, um, Merida, and... Tafiti to all come down here together and talk. I think their romance is so high though, right? That's what I'm saying is like their thing says that they are soulmates. Ooh, not her calling him basic looking right now. Maybe she does know. But something about it is just off to me. The fact that like she didn't get jealous whenever he was at the club getting a dance from somebody else. Uh, oh my god, the outfits are killing me right now. Uh, are there lights? Oh, I think their power got cut off, actually. Hold on, let me see if they can pay the bills. Mm, yeah, pay your bills real quick. And then she's coming down here too, and then I'm gonna lock the door. Okay, now the lights are back on. Sorry, we forgot to pay the bills on Love Island. Um, let's go ahead and build... Well, let me not say that, but... Eh, boop! Let me go down here. So, y'all are gonna have to work it out. Y'all are gonna have to work... He's like, I'm... He said, work it out. I'm gonna work out. How about that? He said, not me. He said, not me. She's thinking about the sign on the wall with love... Merida's probably thinking about the last time she was in here with Lou, she was getting woohooed. Literally everybody being silent right now. The silence is so loud. So loud. Is this a bed party? They're, they would rather work out than work it out. Okay, you need, how about this? Merida, you need to have the what are we conversation with him. You need to ask him, what are we? Because I can't, we can't vote until we know what's going on here. Oh, he looks upset. He looks upset. Oh, she looks excited. You're my person. I love hanging out with you. Maybe we should make it official. So he did, oh my god. So that means Tafiti was just like 
a woohoo to see if he did want to be with other people, and I guess that meant no. Well, okay, first things first, you need to tell her that you don't want to, you don't want her. You need to tell her that that's not, that's not what you want. Because, it's not mean. I don't want them, him to, like, actually, he doesn't even have any, I guess it was just a woohoo because he doesn't even have any romantic stuff with her, so I guess it wasn't even like that to him. He didn't know she was going to get voted onto the island, to be fair, to be fair, um, Tafiti can ask him too, but I don't even think, okay, why don't you go have the what are we talk, and then Merida... We'll, we'll summon you when we're ready for you because I don't want him to feel some type of way because you're standing right there. So why don't you get out and then we'll we'll reconvene with you in a second. Um, Lou, you're going to have to answer to Tafiti now. She put him on her shoulders. She did. Now what's he about to say to Tafiti? Now she's excited. Oh my god, Luke. So he told Merida she's his person. He said, I like you a lot. I'm ready to take the next step when you are. fucking asshole for that <laughs> he's on love island girl you thought that he's not gonna have multiple options it is lou he literally he was the best scripper at the club you think he's not about to be the best dude on love island he is not stupid first of all he knows that either one of them might be getting voted off today he said, whichever one of y'all is here after this, I'm down. Whichever one of y'all are here after today. He said, why would I tell one of them no when one of them's getting voted off? Lord. Go ahead and make a move on her. Might as well. Might as well. <sighs> I can't wait for the Simstagram post. Also, for those of you who aren't on my lowest tier on Patreon, it's literally 10 cents a day. So $3 a month. Um, I do after the Love Island episodes, usually the next day, I'll post like a Simstagram post so that you can see, um, what the other characters say about what happened on the episode is always so funny. I don't know what they're doing right there, but it's something that has to be blurred out. So, so bring Merida down. Um, I don't want to do nothing like that till after we have the vote so we can see what's about to happen because then, yeah, no, we kicked her out. We kicked her out. Um, uh, let's go ahead and have the vote to see who's getting voted off and then we need to vote for who's getting voted on. I will unblock the door though. So if she does wander down there, then sorry, Lou, I can't help you there. But, um, I'm not gonna force her to go down there and force the, the drama to happen. Just like I kind of pick what Lou said to them. Um, the poll is up. So let's vote someone off and then we get to vote somebody on, which is super exciting. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. Who's leaving forever? Oh, Lord. Merida, I'm scared for you, bitch. I'm real scared. I am real scared. There are a good amount of votes for Red as well. So right now, Red, Merida, and Tafiti are the ones that are not looking good. Um, LOL, no one voted for Farquette. The way Farquette has zero votes... She makes great TV. <gasps> She's flirting with Jeannie right now. <gasps> Fuck what? Um, what is she saying over here right now? 
Farquette's head remembers Puss in Boots fondly as memories of him begin to populate her mind. The task at hand is just an afterthought. So Genie is just an afterthought um, as qualities of Puss in Boots manifest themselves. Oh my God. Farquette. Farquette. We can't look away for two seconds. Can I take my vote back? Lord. Lord. That's Farquette's island. <laughs> She's literally thinking about Puss in Boots, and then she's over here flirting with Jeannie. Girl, go home. Y'all, first of all, all of y'all are supposed to be on Love Island right now, so you need to at least walk back if you're going to flirt with somebody. You too, Jeannie. Go walk back with her. You gotta go too. Stop trying to talk to the girl. Go back home. Um, Red is at 26%. Merida is at 46%. Um, it's looking like it might be... Uh, it might be Merida leaving, which is crazy to me because Merida was like the favorite a few episodes ago. That's why I have no idea who's going to win Love Island because it just like um, changes. I just got the Patreon. I would say for $3 a month, 10 cents a day, the Patreon is worth it. Um, obviously, the higher tiers are fun too, but the lowest tier has like, you know, the most frequent content and um i think it's fun uh super worth it merida got boring yeah she's in love with a punching bag ah. merida has always been boring to me loki hated merida lord merida you've got i don't know why you're getting in the bed you might as well start packing your bags it looks like it is Merida that's going home. Uh, Tasha, you can go ahead and end the poll because I don't even think it's possible for the, any of the other ones to catch up. They're not even close enough. So Merida, pack your bags, honey. You're leaving Love Island. You are leaving Love Island. Um, so I guess Lou, it's probably, she needs to come say goodbye to Lou. Which... Now, Farquette already done seen him. She's gonna run her fucking mouth. So you might as well just come see it yourself. Oh, wait. They stopped doing it. She said, oh my god, tafiti titties. Um, not Farquette in there. You know she's gonna watch. Thank you, for parts of the game controller. She don't even realize she's reacting to the nudity, but I don't think she is reacting to anything happening. Um, which now I kind of almost like, want oh, they were woohooing in the bathtub. Oh, yeah, I think that he needs to go ahead and, um, like, she needs to walk in on them doing something so she can just know it's over. So she's not calling him after she leaves Love Island. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, now she go try to get in the bed. She go, they're doing something in there. Um, I thought that was a dresser. Tafiti cannot get pregnant right now. Um, Merida, how are you feeling, babes? Merida was cheated on by someone she cared for is in a jealous rage. Um, also, Tasha, you can start the vote for who's getting voted on whenever you're ready. Uh, looks like she's going to be a jealous person now. She's very sad. Drifting love, um, caught the love of her life, flirting with another. Are they joking around or losing interest? I don't think he's joking around. Caught the love of her life? Bro. Bro. She's sad. Doomed relationship. Walked in on someone you really care for with someone else. You you feel like caring a little less about them right now. Oh. And now it, like, literally changed who she is for forever. She now has the jealous trait. The way she's getting jealous over and over again. Okay, make the torture stop. Okay. Um, Lou, I think you need to try to cheer her up. Oh, she don't even want to talk. He feels embarrassed about it. Maybe it's not such a good idea to have multiple relationships at once, especially if one's supposed to be a secret. Well, now you're not a secret. Now you and Tafiti aren't a secret. Damn. Okay, maybe you should go try to say your goodbyes to Merida. Oh, she's upset. 
Oh, she's upset. Shigo said, thanks for rocking me to sleep. Bye. Um, I need to have a serious conversation with you when you can't. What? Why are you in my live talking about you need to have a serious conversation? Lord. Um, uh, Lou, there's cameras everywhere. There are no secrets. I don't think so. Household is full. Wait, what happened? Oh, I need to buzz my on. <sighs> yeah, we don't do that here. <laughs> I think I want to vote on... I'm voting Duncan. Uh, it looks like everybody else is voting him, too. Okay, Merida is literally just crying in the bed. She doesn't even want to say goodbye to Lou. Okay, well, you need to break it off with Lou, at least, before you leave. So it's not like this lingering thing. Where is he at? Where is he at? I need both of them to come out here so she can, like, say goodbye. Don't forget to scroll. Yeah, don't forget that you can scroll down, too. I've been wanting Duncan for forever. Think of Michelle. Do, do, do. He's feeling like real. He said enjoyable time. Lou made love with another sim and enjoyed it thoroughly. I've never been so happy watching a Love Island episode. You need to. She needs to break up with him. You need to tell him. You need to. Okay, they're about to argue about the relationship and then also sorry i just kind of like burped sorry i'm a little gross um and then you need to what are you mad about this time lou lou <laughs> all right we want to break up um tell me we want to break up she's upset you done got her kicked off of love island oh my god yelling at her <gasps> she said boring oh my god oh my god oh my god <laughs> not him still being flirty <laughs> Okay, to be fair, so from her side, he was acting like he was in love with her. And I think he was into her, but I think he's also on Love Island. It wasn't just settling for her. I think. I think. So, like, I see both sides. I do. I do see both sides. Um, he is still flirty, though. He does not care. Ah, lordy. And it looks like we will be voting in Duncan. So in the next episode, we will have Duncan on here um, uh, on Love Island by Merida. <clears throat> Girl, cheese him. So I'm going to be ending this part here. Um, thank you guys for watching. Also, thank you guys who have been watching, uh, or not watching, reading my story on Wattpad, Celestial Shadows. It's free to read, so you should check it out. It's four chapters so far. Um, Duncan and Red, yay, right? Um, uh, thank you, Unicorn Farts. So yeah, I'm gonna be ending this part here. Uh, we'll be talking about the episode in the Discord after this, so if you're not in the Discord, you should join for the after the episode chat. Anyways, I'll see y'all tomorrow for Sugar Bears. I love you. Good night.